got full power. And you got no airspeed. And the altimeter is rolling down like crazy. And you are going down. The tendency of the common pilot is to apply back pressure on the stick, back pressure on the yoke, and try to recover because altimeter is rolling down. Oh shit, I'm going down. I'm going to back pressure it and get it out of it. However, yeah. if you're airspeed at weather zero, weather you're spinning into the ground. You're not just descending. You're not in a spiral, so the back stick's not going to help you at all. It's actually going to aggravate the spin, in addition to the fact that... One Lima, don't try to um, fly, 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 you got fly, full power, down, and you're down, spinning down. down. You got full power spinning down. What's that going to do to you? It's going to get you down faster. So, whatever happens, and you lose control of the airplane, and that airplane is losing altitude, first thing you want to look at, what's my airspeed? I'm in a good speed. That means I can go ahead and add up. back, level the wings, and add back pressure to come out of it. But if I'm not in a good airspeed and it's zero, the first thing I have to recover with is the rudder. So, before you even put the rudder, you got to throttle back. So if speed is good, you can throttle back. If the speed is zero, you have to throttle back, because if you don't throttle back, it's going to get you down faster. So if you're spinning left, it's going to turn left, you're going to push full right rudder, and release that back pressure from the stick, throttle back full opposite rudder, and release the back pressure from the stick. As you release back pressure, you slowly see the turn and slip indicating no more turn. That's the time in the clouds you're going to have to start back pressure on the stick and come out of the dive when it's no rate of turn. 2597, have a nice day, uh, one bravo, bravo. Uh, 2597, I'll see you later, bye. 2597, Take approach, 92 Gulf, as jump is away, descending to the south. Roger. Alright, no traffic here, beautiful. This is a good practice area, we can do that fun. So, let's climb up, let's do 5,000, it's a good target. 5,000 puts you right on that peak over there, and it's nice and clear here. And we got no traffic in the vicinity. As you're climbing, if you want, you can make a shallow turn to the left, back to the right, just... You can look to your left, clear behind. I'll look to the right, then clear behind as you're turning back right. Right rudder is your turning, so right stick followed by right rudder, maintain full center. Take approach, 9 and 2, Gulf would like to punch out. 9 and 2, Gulf, squawk via Fox, the change crew. Squawk via Fox, change crew, 9 and 2, Gulf. By the way, this examiner, uh, the American Airlines guy, will not do spin training, so you're good. As long as you have a certified instructor endorsement, he's not going to bother you with spin training. I had only one inspector that wanted to see spin training from the CFI applicant. In the arrow? No, in the uh, spin approved aircraft. Oh, so you have to bring another airplane? Yeah, we have to bring two airplanes, yeah. Oh, that's a pain, yeah. It's a pain, but you know, what can you do? You want to go to the right, you do it, that's it. After that, we're pretty cool, you know, you bring the retractable concept speed, you can hear, so. Alright, traffic just pumped 1.36 on a below. Okay, there it is, float plane. He's probably going to the Hamptons. See that guy? Oh, yeah, caravan. Caravan, yeah. Sometimes they take off out of the uh, East River, you see them? Take yeah. off out of the East River? I see them in, in the shelf there. Okay, 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 no way. Are we going to have a Okay, no way. Uh, let's see what he's doing. Hold on. Contact out, somebody at 2989. 2989, Carlos, 333. Left, or? Helicopter 430, off of Gulf with your 1,400, climbing 2,700. 433, off of Gulf, here, Caltimeter 
If you do that, we can go a little bit more further and do some more advanced. Okay. Three, three left now. Contact Play right. One out of point three. Good day. Not much performance out here, so. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems. Initially, you wanted to spin right, but I stepped on the left rudder, so it went to the left. You saw you that it started. The right wing, the right wing drop, and then he wanted to go right, but I applied that left rudder, and it went left. So. Okay. All right, let's do it. He lost about 800 on a two-turn spin, so we're good. We're still gonna recover above three. I'm not gonna touch the um, trim at all because it was trimmed nicely. Nothing on the T gas. Clear fly. All flies in the rear space. So you go full forward on the yoke. Full forward. No, full back pressure on the yoke to uh, stall the aircraft. So no, to recover. You go. Oh, recover. Go forward, just release. Just release the back pressure on the stick, and off she goes. Oh, you don't have to go full forward. Yeah, just release the back pressure. Okay. Now we're gonna do one to the right. There's your power to idle. A little yep. bit of power about 1200, just like so. Just a little bit for shock cooling. I want to slow the airplane down. Clear right. Clear behind. And on the throttle. Establish the stall. Uh, the buffet is coming. There's a buffet. There's a stall. Right rudder. Off she goes right. Keep it turning nice and easy. That's one. Ah, it wasn't that great. There was about one and change, and then she kind of came out by itself. Here we go. Yeah, we got good rudder. And back up. How much opposite rudder do you use to recover? Just release the back pressure and nothing to Rudder, 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 rudder. How much rudder input? Oh, input to, to establish the spin? Full. Just full. And to recover? Recover, just release that rudder and Oh, neutralize it. neutralize it, you'll see it'll come off by itself. But in other airplanes, you do have to. Oh yeah, other airplanes? Uh, you may have to add full rudder and it still wouldn't recover. Oh shit. Yeah, some of them that are not approved, they do like a turn and a half or two and they see that it's a little... You know, they have, well, the test pilots have parachutes, so if it gets out of control, they just jump. Well, they test the Seneca? I'm not sure if they test the Seneca. The twin. I'm not sure if they actually um, test the twin, twin first spin. No, it's only single engine. But any single engine airplane that they do spin training, they'll, you know, do about a turn and a half, two, and if it's hard to recover and it doesn't come out of it, they'll just not approve it for spin. And just, they'll tell you on the POH to do opposite rudder, blah, 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 and it's not approved for spin because it's not as friendly for spin. Your controls? Let's get up to about 45. Same area here is good. There's nobody here. It's nice and clear. And how many Gs usually you, you, you get with the diving effect? With the diving, nothing. But when you recover out of the dive, you're pulling a little bit of Gs. I don't have a G meter, but it approximated if it's really nice and easy, about two to three Gs. And in the worst case scenario? Uh, no, never had. Out of a spin, never more than three Gs. No, okay. it's not that bad now. 842 on my contact, New York, 125.907. 2597, good day. Alright, let's see, what are we at? We're here, right on the edge, let's go ahead, 180 back to the west, clear the area behind. Hold your 
altitude, wait for the buffet. As soon as you feel the buffet, step on the rudder in the direction you want to spin and keep that rudder pressure in there as long as you want to spin. Keep that back pressure, back stick all the way to your chest, and then when you want to recover out of the spin, all you have to do is let go of the rudder pedal and it will just come out of the spin and enter a dive. When it enters a dive, forward stick, break the stall and come right put the back stick out of the stick. Yeah, I'll be with you, it's dual control, we got everything here. I got dual rudder, dual stick, and dual you know, brake pedal, so I'll follow you and help you with it. 300 feet, so... Okay, you can do 5,000, it's good, no problem. As long as we recover above 3,000, we're good. Power to idle, set it at 12, hold the altitude, once you hear the field of buffet and the airplane becomes the stall, pull up, elevator full back, pull rudder, I'll use the left turn at this point. Okay, let's do left, left turn, you continue in the turn, and once you want to recover, no choice in rudders, Right, neutral, uh, forward neutral ele uh, elevator, release the back pressure on the stick, neutral and, elevator, and then you may have to get that back pressure again to come out of the dive, because if you don't, it'll just keep keep diving. Yeah, you know, you, you don't want to go above, above 120 or so, uh, 144 is red line, so. Okay. Yeah, today is not, not much great of a climb performance today, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not, not much. And you don't forget, we're heavy and... You're already at 4,700, so uh, density, density altitude could be like maybe 6,000 up here, so. What are you going to do after this approach with GPS? Uh, yeah, there's an RNAV approach to runway, from the, from the south, I believe, to runway 6. Okay, you can, uh, depending on traffic, I'm, we're, we're probably 33 left at ISO, depending on the final, I'll work, at, work that out for you. Yep, uh, or there's another Traffic's the lowest, no factor, way down there, about 2,000 feet or so. And he's traveling west to east, he's traveling eastbound. Yeah, I don't see nobody over here anyway. Yeah, he's too below, so no problem. I'm just looking outside as you're climbing. Clear the area. Five miles, two thousand below. Automated weather at uh, Brookhaven. Thank you. Yeah, 100 to go. Alright, one more turn to the east. Just clear the area so we can see where we're going. Potential aircraft pressure jumping 8,000 for the arrow. 8,000 for the arrow parachute. That's about right around. That's further down there. Brookhaven, he's right around here, that's for there, right there. Little, you see the little, yeah, two little airports? And we're here, so no problem. 423 out of 1,000 for 3,000. Southwest 423, you're in a good afternoon, you're ready to contact heading 0900. So your goal is CFI, you know, double IMEI, and then airlines, right? Pretty much, or you uh, I would like to get a 135 job. Like, uh, corporate or air taxi? Yeah, something like that. I really like the caravan, the float caravan out of New York. That's a beautiful gig, man. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, it's not all year long, you yeah. know. So what you can do is, if you have your CFI, on the summertime, fly the caravan, and the wintertime, just the flight instructor. So you kind of keep yourself busy all year long. I don't know nobody how to get into the caravan gig. Oh, uh, just flight time. I don't know how to get his job with them, I don't yeah, know. Just, just flight time and keep applying, say hello to the guys, and, you know, get your flow breathing, that's it. And where are they located? The ice slip mostly, right? I've seen them in ice slip. Yeah, I've seen them in ice slip. What you'll do it here, or? That is perfect spot right there. Clear right, clear below. Yep, perfect spot. You good. Hold the altitude. Alright, power back to 12. And we hold the altitude. Hold the altitude. There she goes. Woo! Release the back pressure. Excuse me, the uh, the rudder pedal. Yeah. I had to actually apply a little bit of opposite rudder. That's okay. But as soon as you release, pa 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 pa. As soon as you release that rudder pressure, she wants to stop. But she was going pretty fast. Huh? She yeah. was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was like, whoa, it feels fun. Uh, put the power back up there. Yeah, okay, some altitude. We lost about seven, about seven hundred. Very nice. I was ready with you on the control, 
Oh, but I never touch it because everything you did was proper as far as your recovery, so I wasn't worried about it at all. So let's go back up a little bit. I remember the runner to the right. The runner seemed like uh, you would. I neutralized the runner and it was still spinning. Still spinning, huh? Yeah. So it, it may require opposite. a little bit. Yeah, it may require a little bit of opposite. If it goes that fast, it may require a little bit yeah. of opposite. Yeah. yeah. I saw it coming up on red line. I saw it. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was ready. But you you, you recovered before red line, so it's good. How's the rotor? Feel good? Yeah. Feels steady. Twenty twenty three. Yeah. We got good rotor. Uh, it would be interesting if we had a rudder issue after such a maneuver. <laughs> well, they it's go every, they they go, uh, every hundred hours, they check the cables, they check all the pulleys and everything, just like any other airplane, so, you know, if there's any issues. It's good, though, to check everything on the ground, and then on the post-flight, just after you land, do another check. If you see too much slack on the rudder and something doesn't feel right, you know. But the spin pair characteristic, if it's a little bit heavy, are different when it's light. So you kind of, you know, do you want to not to exceed, right? Exactly. Yeah. If you're heavy, it's gonna when you recover out of the dive, it's heavy. It's gonna, the, uh, it's gonna dive faster because it wants to go down with more weight. So you gotta watch that. Let's go back to the east, either right or left. Your choice. We'll do a one spin to the right. Or one to the right. Yep. right. Traffic right there. About uh, helicopter. Uh, I would say about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock below us, about 3,000 feet. Kind of yeah, keep them in sight, just follow behind them, you're good. There's a lot of traffic going from the city to the Hamptons now. Beautiful day, so... There's a chopper right there, advisory. There was somebody else below us before. Oh, there's another one? There was, at least it was showing before. Alright, let's look. I was like down 2,000 feet below us, just before I started to spin. Two or three thousand. Yep, let's clear the area below us. Yeah, that's Sikorsky. Oh, there's another airplane. Okay, so you're right, there is another one. Is it heading westbound? Uh, let's take a look. Yep, 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 way below us. Yep, yep, got him in sight. Way, way below us. No factor. Don't wait a little bit. Let him travel to the west. Are you going to see family down the floor or just have a, like a little... A little mini vacation, you know, two, three days, yeah. Why don't you, oh no, that's too expensive taking the Seneca 5. I'll be your breaking it. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I always fly my airplane because it's too expensive to rent, yeah. And you, the more you fly your airplane, the less the cost of ownership is. <coughs> the, the breakover point is about 100 hours. If you fly your airplane more than 100 hours, the cost of ownership per hourly rate is, is reduced. If you fly less than 100 hours, you don't need to own. You might as well just rent because it's cheaper to rent. One minute over Brookhaven Airport and uh, 8,000. One minute over Brookhaven Airport. New York departure, uh, Duchess 906 Hotel Foxtrot, uh, 1,700. Uh, climbing 2,000, we're out of heading of 300. That's the Duchess. Yep, that's the guy that do spin training, right? Out of, uh, not spin training, multi training out of the ice lift. Yeah, yep. Duchess. Hotel Fox. Uh, Roger, 6 Hotel Fox, right? Yep. I don't know, I'm having a... I don't know if, it, if the wind is, is getting it coordinated is, is a challenge today. Ah, it's pretty smooth, no problem. Just step on the ball. I'm seeing a lot of traffic here. Two miles, 600 below now. Good afternoon, 661 off of Tango. Sometimes you gotta reset it then. There is kind of off of Tango, and you can approach. I hit about Pick up ghost nine, traffic. Niner. Niner, one off Tango. Honestly, I do not see anybody below us. Alright. Oh, yeah. Looks like it was just the ghost. Yeah, you're good. Alright, same exact technique. Now, when it wants to drop a wing, just step the rudder to the right, so. 
You'll, you'll feel the buffet when it wants to buffet. Just step on the right rudder and chill. Go into a spin to the right. Proceeding on course, uh, North Practice Area, 6 0 Fox Trap. Approach 9 2 Gulf as jump is away, descending to the south. 9 2 Gulf. It's 
it's it's good. I'm I'm I'm, I'm pretty happy that I do this because I'm, I'm I keep myself sharp. You know, it's good. A three three zero Bravo, need departure radar contact. All the way to idle, just and then just back up a little. Right to two six zero. Back up. Back right there. Perfect. You good? Just hold that bitch attitude, and she'll go into the spin. One zero one ten. One one zero. One sixty. Nobody on traffic. Looks clear. Three thousand. Clear right. Clear below. So even if we, we should have recovered by then, but I saw it as we spun. You saw it and then you terminated. Okay, very, very good decision because you, the last thing you want to do is go straight down at a thousand feet or three thousand feet per minute right into a flying airplane. Did you see it or no? I, I saw the red thing. I saw the airplane. Oh. I, I, I'm gonna have to watch the tape, but I saw that red airplane, something moving, and, and I saw, oh, and then you recovered. So it was good, good, good decision. No complaints. We'll do another one. Right. Hopefully. We, we don't have area. traffic for us. We clear the other side. Hopefully we don't have traffic for us. Well, oh, that helicopter. thing it was going maybe 200 knots and it just it just Look, appeared. There's helicopter in the airplane over here. Converging. Yeah. You know what? Maybe we should, before we initiate the spin, take a steep turn. Take a steep turn and look below before you do it. Okay. okay. I see. I see a chopper now. You're right. There is a chopper. And the airplane is following it too. Yep. I see a chopper. I see that red airplane towards the east. No problem. We said uh, hello to him. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Actually, things like this. Yeah, that got me. Yeah, that, that's amped good. Up. Uh, that's uh, that's good. Uh, good sense of uh, vision right there, man. Good job picking up on that traffic. Very nice. That got me amped up. That's the course he's moving quick, man. He got the turkey left behind him. Yep. Well, what is the speed of those things, though? 200? Uh, the caravan? Yeah, I can do 200. It's no, no, the Sikorsky. Oh, Sikorsky, uh, they'll do 140, that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, helicopters don't go too fast, no. We're looking no joy. 24 Alpha, terminal setting 360, practice approach is approved, no separation services are provided, maintain VFR. Okay, uh, you know what? It looks like maybe if we go a little bit further south, we'll inland, be right? Inland, because they're, they're all on the shoreline. I don't know if it's at like a traffic route or maybe where they depart, they hit direct Hamptons. That's what turns out. I don't know what it is, but there's like they're all along the shoreline. I think that's called the New York Heli Church, and then they have an East Hampton. Uh, if you look at the special notices. Uh, the helicopters I know operations out of Newark, and they fly Sikorsky helicopters, and what they usually do is pick up VIPs out of Manhattan Heliport and take them to the Hamptons. But they charge like $5,000 an hour, I mean, like ridiculous. They, they make the money. They make good money, oh yeah. There's a guy in front of me who has a, uh, a Bell 406. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't know how much he charges, but I bet you an arm and a leg also. Oh yeah. So, oh, now we got somebody 2 miles 900, so we gotta look for that guy. Okay, tell you what, uh, let's clear the area, you're 5,000 feet, let's go sharp turn to the left, just kind of clear them below us before we uh, spin it to the right, just to make sure we're good. 4138, radar contact, I'll submit it 2989. 2989, that's my 4108. Coach, you got another one? 1 Mike Alpha, near approach, the uh, ice about to move 3989. Do you see anybody? And which one I one? see clear, man. Nothing out there. I don't know about that TCAS. I'll reset it. Maybe it's picking up some ghost traffic. Well, last, the, it didn't pick up the caravan. I know no, that for it sure. did not pick up the caravan for sure, yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, ghost traffic. Left, tra left turn, right turn. Your discretion. Uh, you know, we did the right one and uh, we had to stop it because, let's do it again. because of that red airplane. So let's do one more to the right. And if you do a good job, this will complete your spin train. Alright, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. 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 Hold
The more likely scenario where you will have a spin on stall when you teach your student stalls is when you're doing power on stall. The the left turning the right. Right. You got the left turning tendencies and there's not enough right rudder, that means there's too much left rudder and it just tends to spin to the left, so. Okay. And approach uh, Bonanza too far off we're coming up over the... Uh, I got somebody five eight on this. Okay, we got new traffic. Thousand feet below five miles. Let's see who that is. Yeah, six Hotel Fox, which approach did you want to start with? I love six Hotel Alright, six Hotel Fox, drive by heading uh, 170. 170, nine, six Hotel Fox. Remember, two, four, three, eight, Sierra, turn left on course, south track this area. Three, eight, Sierra, left turn on course, south track. Final phase zero, zero, tower 19-3. Tower 19-3, final phase zero, zero. How much fuel we got? Well, how is it? Well, there's a lot of uh, full power climbs and just throttle back for a little bit, spin down, and then full power climbs. So most of the time we're just at full power. So, so we're eating, we're eating a lot of fuel. Yeah, it's more fuel than, than normal. Alright, let's see. Cruise check, power set, instrument, compass, no time for fuel. We got half a tank, so we're good. About an hour and a half left before we run out of gas. So, you know, before about 30 minute flight, we're good. I want to actually stop. Quicker though heading back because the wind, wind, yeah. yeah, the wind. It took a while to get up here to the North Practice area. Approaching five. All right, traffic six hundred below one point three. Let's keep turning. Three hundred eight eight. All right, running away from us one point seven now. I'll say 3-3, three, three, traffic a mile, uh, actually make it two miles. There he is, got him in sight. And indicate. Boom. Over there, by the week. Did they lost the guy? No, it looks like Sultan Fox. He was calling, he was calling traffic, let me see what he said. Sultan Fox, put the hour left, uh, put the Sultan Fox, hour left, Sultan Fox, put the hour left, Sultan Okay. There's another one. I'm coming up, say 3-3, three, three, there's the traffic in sight. Roger. Traffic inside. I don't know if he sees us or he's talking about another guy. I don't know, I'm not sure. I think that could be that beach comes Dutch they probably probably doing engine house. It's possible. How much they charge for the beach? More than the Seneca? I don't know. I like the Seneca. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful airplane. My favorite twin, man. So, uh, engines are in the U.S. and then he's taking it down south? I don't know, he was, I think it was Florida, Key West, I don't know. He's doing it in Florida, okay, cool. He's doing something else, 135. No, 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 the actually overall of the engines. Oh, I don't know. U.S. or in the Caribbean? Are you on the left turn now, or? You know, totally up to you, two turns spin, recover, and we call it a day. Okay. You're getting the hang of it, so. Well, where is he doing the overhaul? I think Pepe, you know, the guy over at Atlantic, oh, he, he, he took off the engines, but I don't know if he's doing it or... Maybe he orders new engines and then all that the mechanic does is just replace them, that's it. Oh, that's an expensive uh, procedure. Ah, it's not too bad. If, if, if you order the engines... Oh, 1,400, 4 miles, 1,400. If you, uh, or, if you order the engine, well, you it's a quick deal. You take one out, you take yours off, and by the time... You take it out, the engine's waiting for you in the shop, so you just install the new ones. Maybe a week you can be done. And who takes the old ones? You send it back to the overall shop and they rebuild it and give it to someone else. Oh, that's The Seneca is pretty unique because they're not interchangeable. Yeah, left to the left. There's a counter rotating and, 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 and uh, counter clockwise, you know, counter clockwise rotating and clockwise rotating. Yeah, so. the right end is counter, counter rotating. Exactly, yeah, so. 